Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to highlight your mouse cursor for YouTube videos. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the web browser. I'm using Google Chrome and I'm going to go to this particular website. I'll put a link to this website in the YouTube description. So you just click on the link and you'll get to this same page. I'm going to scroll down the page where I see this yellow highlight here. And just above it, it says that to use this particular tool, you need to install Auto Hotkey, this software, right? It's free. So I'm going to middle mouse click on this link here to open it in a new tab. And I'm going to click the download button and then click download current version, this one. Let's download that software. And then now it's downloaded, I'm going to click on it and I'm just going to install it. So just click express installation here and then it's installed and then you can exit, click exit. All right. And now we can close down this tab and we can click on this link here, this yellow one at the top right here. We're going to click on it and it's going to go to Google Drive and download this file. So here you can see the file. This is the config file. I'm going to click this download button here. So the file is downloaded. Let's open up this folder on my desktop and I'm going to drag and drop that file into this folder here and then we'll minimize the web browser and I'm going to double click on this file. And when I double click, it's asking me if I want to create a settings default settings file. And I'm going to click yes here and then click OK. And now you see this tool pop up here, this tool, right? Let's minimize this and look at this tool. So, OK, it's not the best design ever, but it's functional. And that's the key here, right? And really use this tool in PowerPoint. This tool is really for PowerPoint, but you can also use it for YouTube videos and tutorials and all, all sorts of other things. And the one element in this tool that you use, if you're not using it in PowerPoint, is this button right here, the one that where my mouse is. When I click on it, you'll see the mouse cursor is now highlighted. Now obviously, you don't want this toolbar showing when you're doing tutorials. So you can go down to the taskbar here and go to the tray icon, and then you can click on this little icon here. It's called PowerPoint inking toolbar when you click on it it will minimize it and hide it right so now you don't actually see that toolbar there so you can start your video and do your tutorial this tool right now or the mouse cursor itself right now is highlighted in yellow so i'm going to show you how to change the color and also change the size of the the circle right this halo so let's go back down to the bottom here and we'll click back on the tool to enable it and then we're going to right click and we're going to go to toolbar options so just right click on the little icon in the tray down here this one here right click it go to toolbar options and go to toolbar settings any file so we'll open up that file it's going to open in notepad like this and i'm going to press ctrl and f to find and i'm going to look for the word color it's spelled american c-o-l-o-r color like that and we'll click find next and then we'll click it one more time and then we get down to these settings here these settings are very are, are probably the most important right so let's just close this and at the moment it says the color of the cursor is ff ff zero zero so it's rgb two letters for the red two letters for the green and then two letters for the blue right and it starts from zero and it ends at f because it's hexadecimal values so if you're not sure what color to put in here you can always use like a color picker tool so we could go to uh let's just say we can go to color picker in Google, right? You can just type that in, color picker, and then you'll see the RGB color, you actually see the RGB colors here, 66, 135, and 245 for this particular color, this particular shade that's been selected here, right? So I know RGB colors, so really what I'll do is get rid of the yellow first. So this FF, I'm gonna to set to zero, zero. That means it's got no value. And the second one, I'm gonna to set to zero, zero. That means it's got no value. So these sets of, that I'm highlighting right now is the red and the green, right? And then the blue is at the end. So if I set that to FF, let's do it in capitals, FF, and then press Control S to save. If I go back down to this toolbar here, right click on it, and then go to the toolbar options and say reload toolbar. The toolbar itself reloads and then you can click on the highlight at all again and now you can see it's this blue shade right it looks kind of purple because of the transparency and you want a bit of transparency in there as well so i'll normally leave the transparency alone but you can adjust it here the opacity right here you can adjust it um we could try and set it to something like let's say something very low right it's set to 120 at the moment so let me just make a note of that 120 and Really, we could set it to something like, let's just set it to 20, for example, and then press Control S to save, come back down here, click here, right click, toolbar, reload toolbar. It's gonna to reload, 
and then we'll click on it again and now you can see it's very faint right you can see how faint it is because we set it to a low value so if we set it to a higher value then it will increase or decrease accordingly it says here um, the opacity cursor highlight zero is completely transparent 255 is completely opaque so if you don't want any sort of transparency then you'll set it to a very high value or set it to a very low value if you want it to be more transparent let's set it back to 120 because that seemed to be a sensible um, value now you've got the cursor width and height at the moment it's set to 100 by 100 pixels i believe so let's set it to 50 by 50 here and press Control s to save it save this file let's go back and test it one more time we'll right click on the icon toolbar reload toolbar the toolbar will reload let's click on the icon again and now you can see it's a much much smaller circle i prefer something around this size i think that's kind of a sensible size for when you're demoing stuff so if you're clicking on drop down menus you can see things still clearly right as you're as you're working i think the opacity could be brought down a little bit i think it's quite strong or really the color is probably not the best color right so let's set that back to zero zero and let's set these ones all back to f's and then we press Control s to save let's just click here right click toolbar and then reload the toolbar one more time and then let's go and click this tool here and now it's a yellow color and i think yellow just is a bit easier to see when you're rolling over drop down menus like this for example right uh, let's click exit here because we can close down the any file if you want to close down this toolbar completely you just go to here right click on it go to toolbar and then go up to the top here and say exit powerpoint inking toolbar let's click it and then it will be exit and then the mouse cursor highlight has been removed right if you want to load it up again just open up the folder where you saved the file just double click on the file and it will load up again right and to exit it just click here right click on it exit toolbar so don't delete this folder or this particular file because that's what's being used to execute um, the the mass highlight at all right and you need this hotkey tool this hotkey um, software that we just installed the purpose of that software is to run this particular file here right so you need both both elements in order to get this to work so that's the end of this tutorial hopefully you find it useful and if you're making youtube videos or you're making some sort of tutorials and you want to highlight things on the screen with your mouse cursor then i think this is a nice way to do it uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and feel free to write a comment if you like this video that would be nice to get some comments from you to tell me if you like this particular uh, tutorial remember the software that you're using is for free so this is there's no cost involved in using this particular uh, mass highlight at all okay don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel that's the end of this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial